Okay, in this session, we're going to be fin doing the finishing operation for the bottom of the pocket. So we've done the roughing of the pocket and the walls. Last operation, we've done the um, roughing of, I mean, the finishing of the walls. And now we're going to do the finishing of the pocket itself. So let's go ahead and create a new pocket operation by right-clicking on operation, add milling operation, and then pocket. Okay, we're going to select that same uh, chain as before so the contour is going to be the same contour 8 and come over here under tool and under tool we're going to select the point 2 tool that we've selected before we've used before okay so go under end mills until you find the tool that you've used before which is point 2 and the reason I'm selecting that is because I know it will go into the corners and around the around uh, the, the islands without stopping or having to uh, create another operation Okay, next up, go to Levels, and let's go for Pocket Depth and select the Pocket Depth. You're going to see that change to negative 0.5 from the top surface. So it's going to change this uh, to, uh, to 0.25, and if you notice that from the distance between negative 0.25 and 0.25, it's going to be negative 0.5. Okay, now that you have that set, go to Technology. And over here under offset, let's change the wall offset to 0 0.005. Okay, and the island offset to 0 0.005. What that will do is that that will create any interference between the tool and the wall. Now remember, the wall and the islands, we've already roughed, uh, finished the profiles for that. So the wall over here and the po around the pocket, we've already done the machining for that. So we want to keep the tool uh, away from that. Now, uh, we did leave 5,000 material last time we machined them, okay, and then we then we made sure we machined it in our finishing exercise. So right now I'm going to keep my tool away from there 5,000. Now just to be to make sure that we machined all the material that's on the floor, I'm going to make it a little bit less than 5,000. So I'm going to make it about 3,000, okay. But that will ensure that my tool is away from the wall of the pocket and away from the wall of the island as well. Okay, so that's very critical uh, into doing your finishing operation. All right, now that you're set with those, come over here under link. Okay. And for the lead out, you can see that the lead in is taken out. Okay, that's for your because you're doing a finishing operation. But if you're doing, if you go over here under the lead out, and also because you haven't select any uh, ramping. So I just want to do a lead out for this one and I want to select for none to arc. And I want to change the radius to 0.05 to 0 0.005. Now that you have that done, click on save and calculate and then click on simulate. And then if you play real quick, you know, the, the fastest this can, thing can go, you're not going to be able to watch anything if you have it on the quickest as uh, possible. You want to slow it down dramatically before you can actually see the tool doing anything. So click on play, and there you go. You're going to see the tool going around your entire part, but it's actually staying away from your profiles and outside of your wall only by 3,000. So you're not going to be able to tell just by looking at it from this direction, but it is staying away from your wall. Okay, click on X, click on exit. And there you go, this concludes uh, this uh, session. In our next session, we're going to be starting to um, uh, set up our slot milling. So there's going to be this slot right here that we're going to have to mill. And we're going to set that up in our next session.